In this video, we're going to look at compression, but more specifically where a compressor pedal can or should go in your signal chain. For a lot of us, when we first start playing or when we're first putting together a pedal board, we'll go online and we'll look at forums, we'll look at diagrams to see where other people are putting their pedals or where they recommend. And traditionally, what we're going to find with compressor pedals is that most people are putting them early on in their chain, if not first. So what we're going to do is put a compressor before and after some drive and delay uh, from the Electroharmonics Super Ego Plus. The first, of course, here is my clean tone with my Fender Jazzmaster through my Fender Princeton Reverb 65 reissue. So now we'll hear the guitar just through the Fairfield Circuitry Accountant and then into the amp. We can hear how the Accountant squashes the dynamic range of the guitar signal, but also pushes the amp a little bit. So now let's just hear the overdrive with the Boss SD-1. And next we'll hear the compressor into the overdrive. And of course we hear the compression but also in an increase in the gain or the overdrive. Now let's hear with the delay as well. Then next, let's hear the overdrive into the delay without the compressor. What we'll do now is put the compressor after the overdrive and after the delay to see how the dynamics are impacted both ways. And first, we'll hear the overdrive by itself again. Now the compressor after the overdrive. And we'll add the delay after the overdrive. Now let's check out just the guitar going into the delay into the amplifier. And lastly, let's hear the delay going into the compressor. All right, let's hear what you think. Are you interested in experimenting with your compressor in a different spot in your signal chain? Are you somebody who can't stand compressors no matter where they are? Let us know in the comments.